All right, it's here. It's the Jenkins Iron and Steel. They call it their skeleton grapple, which is basically, as you can tell, a rock bucket grapple. All right. Um, it is the identical thing that from my videos last summer that my uncle has. Same width, same everything. I went with the 68 because it's the same width as our tires. The next step up was 74 inches and that was like another 100 or 150 pounds. It doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're hauling stuff, that can be a lot of weight. That's that much less you can carry. Um, one of the improvements I see that they made um, since his is just a simple um, hydraulic uh, fitting uh, guard. Just goes over the hydraulic because if any trees or anything fell on the ram, you risked, uh, you know, uh, obviously blowing a hose or, you know, being out of luck for that day. Um, these side plates right here, you can see there's three bolts. They're removable. If you get clearing in a lot of brush and you want to have uh, more capacity of your grapple. Um, what else about it? Um, the one thing I, I'm going to keep an eye on is I can't remember how my uncle's was. If these were pointed back just a little bit. But then I remember it was really tricky to hook up to with the bob tatch. But I'll have to keep an eye on it because if any trees or anything that falls and hits directly on this same thing I'm gonna be kind of out of luck so I'm gonna hook it up here I got about 30 minutes before I gotta start getting ready for work I gotta go in an hour early tonight and uh, I'm gonna hook it up here looks like they got the hoses a little kind of wound up nicely here bear with me so what I'm gonna do here oh that swivels very nicely actually down here is I'll I can't do this one-handed but what I'll do is I'll, I'll stick the extra down in here so it's protected behind the bucket. And then there's there's two uh, quick fittings here and they go in here and here I believe. I think it's these two. I don't know. Let's see here. It might be the middle one. I don't know. I'll get it hooked up here and I'll show you. Alright, so it's as simple as that. Um, they just quick couple in there. You just push and they connect themselves. This swiveled back on its own. The one thing I'm gonna have to keep an eye on, my uncle's, and I think it's just because of the way it got shipped that there's a kink in it now, like the way it just wants to stay. But obviously I don't want it to grab on that, and I don't want it to grab or get pinched in the hydraulic ram over here. So just gonna keep an eye on it, and I might tie it up here. But I'm just gonna try it just to function it and uh, make sure everything's good. Maybe go pick up a couple branches here.
18 minutes now. Got a little bit of a pile there. Just some brush we had cut and trimmed along the pasture line here. The fence kind of tricky picking up and over the fence. Try not to break too much the fence, if any. Um, you'll see that. I had my brother hold on to the camera here, but it's really, um, you can be pretty precise. Um, it might have looked like I was, you know, iffy in a few spots, but I was trying not to break fence. I don't know if you can see the fence in the video or not, but it's very simple to operate. For us, we just press the auxiliary hydraulics, because that's what we're using, right? And then on my bucket joystick, um, I can do this. If I move my thumb, let's see if I can get it all in one shot here. That's open, and that's closed. They will, uh, they, pro they, they apply equal pressure. So if I have an uneven load, the grapples will go uneven, but they'll keep a good grip on whatever I have, which is super nice. So I got about, oh, 10 minutes before I gotta get ready for work here, 13 hour shift tonight. I think they're gonna try to start planting corn again tonight. Uh, they're just trying it right now. I think they're setting in. And uh, I might go out tomorrow. Uh, he's got a guy in the field cultivator uh, for the week when I'm at work. So I might go out and tent him with seed and fertilizer and starter. So try to get some videos of that when I get out there. Um, but life's good again. You know, it's beautiful out. They are talking rain for the weekend. Another rain stretch for like five days. So um, I'm just going to grab this little, little twig here that I dropped and keep going here. So I got a buggy here. But uh, this thing is awesome. Um, I already... Um, I had a branch fall on me right on the height right on the where the connections are on this ram that thing that they put on there saved it within the first 10 minutes of me driving and i had a dead branch fall off a tree that's just that's the game you play when you're when you're clearing brush that's one of the reason i wanted this uh ox beam light bar i got up here removable so when i really get into brush clearing mode i just wanted to test it today but i'm going to pull that light bar off so it doesn't get broken all right, I gotta get to work. But uh, very happy with this thing. Knew I would be. Can't wait to get it to, to work here and get uh, doing more. But uh, 68 inches wide, it weighs like 960 or 980 pounds. So didn't want to go much wider than that because then uh, we would have had issues probably. Not issues, but uh, it's just more functional and. The more weight you get on the front of the bobcat, uh, it kind of, it's a little, it's not as nimble. It, you know, it, it's nice to have uh, less weight up front just for driving them around. But uh, yeah, this thing is nice. Very, very nice. So makes quick work of clearing brush and uh, you know, you put your front tines down and you can uh, scrape off that thorn stuff and that nonsense brush and just and then push and then slam the grapples down and grab it all and get out of there so all right with that one guys i'm going to work have a good night be safe and uh, we will check you guys later